curious, since Mike White played at U school and obviously went to St. Thomas, did you ever watch him in high school? Nah, not for real. I really haven't had a chance, but we, we used to go to this camp growing up called Sly Johnson Camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so we used to go there a lot. And I used to see him throw and stuff like that growing up when I was a little, a little kid. And, you know, I had a chance to throw at him a couple of times, so cool. So you already kind of got like a – you already had pre-built in a little bit of chemistry. Mm-hmm. What have you just in general observed about Mike White? Well, for one, he does a great a great job of helping Zach from before, and that tells a lot about the type of person he is. You know, he's not – he's selfless and not selfish, you know, so that's the type of person we would want to play for and play with too. So um, knowing that he's a great person and someone that works hard, comes in the building every day and does what he has to do, is something that, you know, I think everyone in, in the building can definitely give a thumbs up for. How did it feel to get that first career touchdown last week? It was a blessing. You know, um, it definitely felt felt great. I want to do it again. Well, what are some things that you've seen on film when studying the Bengals secondary? They chase the ball well. You know, it, it's always eleven men on the ball always, and um, it's it's really it's really so much stuff. They're really on their details. Where they were saying in the meetings that you know they don't have a rookie in their whole starting lineup. So which which is something you know is very very impressive. They've been playing with each other, so they they, they know each other's chemistry. So something you know you got to look at the two. Do you guys feel as a receiver room that you gotta since you guys have Mike in there, you guys gotta like kind of elevate y'all play just to help him out a little bit? I feel like Mike is more than ready, you know. So I feel like whoever whoever's in there, we're gonna you know do what we're supposed to do. So we we'll go down, go up. We, you know, we stay even, even kill. Can you kind of appreciate like what situation he's in as a quarterback? He's a backup, getting this opportunity. Um, he's been here, he's been around, and, you know, just as a fellow player, just to know what type of opportunity this is for him. No, nah, definitely it's big, you know, and I think he knows that too, the way he approaches it. You know, even in practice, you know, he is on his P's and Q's, and you can tell, you know, it's, it's different from, from before. He's just a, attacking it with a whole different mental, you know, space. So, and we can't do nothing but appreciate that. You know, it's definitely a blessing that, that that's how he's approaching it. What's different in the huddle uh, when it's Mike versus when it's Zach? I wouldn't really say nothing. It's just different. At the end of the day, we got to execute the play. So it's nothing really different. They they both do it well. You know, they both say the call well and everything. So I guess it just goes down to execution, you know. So Sunday we'll see. I may have missed this coming in, but um, can you talk a little bit about the Chase God shirt and what that means? Chase God, man. Just God's the – he's the head of everything. I, I kind of wore it just so everybody can see to see the message. I put God at the the front measure of my life, you know, um, Without him, I am, I am nothing, and everybody is nothing. You know, so we got, you know, we got to realize that God, like without God, there, there's no happiness, there's no nothing. We can search, we can have all this money, we can have all this everything, and without God, you're not gonna have that peace. You know, so I just strive for peace. I strive for mental clarity. You know, and I can, I, I can always find that through, through, through God. So I want everyone to see this message. You know, Christ is my Lord, it's my Savior, it's my everything. Obviously, you know, you scored a touchdown and you, you had that one play where you threw a, you know, a smoke screen and you always you make the corner miss and get, you know, first down. Do you feel like, you know, that big performance where you can really show off all your skill set is, is approaching? Yeah, it's just only a matter of time. It's kind of how I approach it. So stay ready. You don't got to get ready. <laughs>